everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. I hope you're having a fab day. Today I'm over at the Academy of Scrapbooking and Arts and we have a fantastic post for you because it's the launch of the new Tonic Stone Drops. So these are again a little bit different. They come in this kind of bell shaped bottle with our signature gem on top. They come in eight beautiful colors and this month's theme at the Academy is flowers. Now I made this for the tonic booth at Creativation and I wanted to show you how I made it. It was a mixture of different Nouveau drops but primarily the stone drops and then I painted the front with some glimmer paste and a couple of the new glacier paste that will be coming later in the year. But you really can use anything as long as it works on a non-porous surface. So these are the tonic glimmer glitter paste that I painted on the front just to add a little bit of fun and um, it's actually just a birdhouse that I found at Joanne's and I wanted to show you that you could really take anything and turn it into something fun and you'll see on your screen at the moment I turned these into uh, table decorations so I popped a tea light in just the uh, battery operated tea lights and I did this tall one and I also decorated one of these don't they look so pretty and you can put them on the tables you could use them as a piece of home decor and um, you can still get them in most Joanne stores I've seen them around or just see things that you find they do wooden versions of these that you can paint and add Nouveau drops to white gesso them and then add the Nouveau drops to them lots of different ways to adapt um, things so go down that wood aisle go down the springtime aisles you'll find some really fun things both um, in lots of the different big box stores that you can adapt for different home decor items. Just because it's a bird box um, and things, you can do some really fun things and turn them into table decor. So how did I make it? Really, really simple. So I'm gonna take these beautiful new colors. We have this gorgeous um, aqua color that's called uh, Lady Liberty. We have chalk white. We have fiery volcano. This one's called Belgian bluestone. We have pink granite, plum slate, this gold here is called gold rush, and then we have a boulder grey. Now when they dry, I was going to just put it on a little bit of white cardstock for you. They have a really interesting texture, and I'm not sure how Tonic have done this, but I am fascinated by them. So if you want to know how to make the perfect Nouveau drop, you can find a link in the video description or check that top right hand corner for details of how to make the perfect Nouveau drop. Same tips apply with stone drops, but they have um, a slightly glossy finish. They do dry a little bit more matte than others, but when they dry, they have a stony texture. So they have these granules in them that when it dries, they rise to the top and then this is gonna dry like a little bit pumicey. That's the only kind of way I can describe it. It has an amazing texture to it with these granules that are can then actually feel like stone. And I'm gonna point a couple out on this piece here on this bird one that I did. So um, this blue one here is one of those stone drops. So it kind of comes out here. You can see it's a little bit matte and it has a stony finish to it. Um, where else did I put them? So there's some more of the blue here. Um, this one here is the sort of pinky color. Then you've got the green, um, the more kind of goldy green down here. So lots of the colors I've included on here. You'll see there's the dream in color, aquamarine over here. This is that dream in color peachy color so I really kind of included lots on here and you can mix those up but doesn't it look so pretty on the side so it's taken it from that plain white that we're going to have on this one here and then I've just kind of popped it up by just having that little bit of color so let's start adding them on and I really just went random so I'm going to take all of my lids off and you can absolutely do this while you're doing a project don't worry about them drying out or anything like that you can just take all of your lids off and I'm not going to use the white because we're going on to white and we're just going to start adding little bits into the center of our flowers so it's really really easy I'm just going to give it a squeeze and a dot and you'll find it will just settle they do dry on your non-porous surfaces and I'm just going to just keep turning and squeezing and you can see I'm not worrying about my placement 
Okay, so I have a little bit of red on there. Now I'm going to start going in with my aquamarine. Some I might add more than others. Again, I'm not thinking, oh, I must have three to the left of every red. I'm going to have a little bit of aquamarine and then four to the right, I'll have a little bit of blue. The only thing I'll try to do is not have the same colour next to each other. And you can probably hear it's a little bit gritty when I put my nozzle down. And that's the kind of effect that you get from having the stone. So we've done that one. And look how quickly this is coming together. These would be the perfect um, wedding centerpiece maybe. Um, so you could get lots of these and of course you can use your big box store coupons. And we always have our tonic coupons, you'll find those in the video description. And we're about to have our Hedgehog Hollow channel membership too, which will have even more exclusive tonic coupons and savings for you. So you'll be able to join the Hedgehog Hollow channel and save even more money on all your crafty purchases. Well, there I ended up putting two purples next to each other. But I'm not going to worry. By the time I'm finished, you won't notice that. So there's lots of purples. Let's put some here at the top. We haven't started that yet. So this is coming together so quickly. And then I just let this dry overnight on the other one. And I don't know if you know, but you can paint with Nouveau Drops too. So on the one you saw earlier, I did some painting. I just popped some down in my palette area and I painted a little bit on my butterflies. And I painted this belly band that goes around my um, birdhouse but it's coming together and it's so pretty so that's our blue now we're going to go in with our pink and of course the more you fill in the easier it gets because you're just filling in those gaps and just going round I'm making sure that I fill in around that um, hole of the birdhouse too. So I just think they look so pretty. And of course you could put these outside with that tea light in. Just those little electronic flicker flame tea lights. And then pop it outside on a summer's evening. And you have a really pretty piece of decor. And I'm sure so many people will say, where did you get that on your table? And you say, well, I made it. And then you can point them to, why, did, why don't you make your own? So I'm just filling in with my pink. Now I'm going to go for my gold. So now just filling in these last ones. nearly done so now I'm just looking for any gaps and if I have two next to each other that have a gap I'll fill in one with my gold and then I'll come back in a second and fill in any other colors so so here I have a little gap where I've got my silver so that can go in here and I had a gap up here so you can just see I'm going round. This one has a gap, there's not a blue, so that's kind of what I look for is, okay, what colours don't I have here yet? So I have the aquamarine, I don't have a red. So now we're just filling in all these gaps. And if I had one, two colours next to each other, I'm not going to worry about that. Because as I say, by the time it's all filled in, no one's going to notice that you had two of the same one next to each other. Uh, we can do a pink. And we can do silver. And you can see how quickly is this project coming together? Wouldn't it make the perfect hostess gift? It would make, um, you could do it themed to weddings as I mentioned. Oh, we've already got that one there. 
but you can see it. And I really go through, so I go to Joanne's all the time because we live super close to their head office here. Um, but I'm always looking for things that are a little bit different. So that unicorn that I made for Creativation, that came from Joanne's too. And I'm always just looking to take something that you might not think, oh, yeah, that's a different idea, um, and turn it into something a little bit unusual. So I'm nearly done. And I'm really trying not to put the same ones next to each other, but I think it's just going to happen. I think the aquamarine colour is my favourite because I seem to have lots of that everywhere. Some silver, more silver. One more at the top here. And as I say, I would take some of the glitter paste. I will, then there's a little piece at the top here that I will paint. Um, you can do that just with your Nouveau drops. So what I can do is I can just squeeze out some Nouveau drop and grab a Nouveau paintbrush or whatever paintbrush you have to hand. So I have some Nouveau paintbrushes here. It's super easy. You can just paint in your top piece. It's just another way to use your Nouveau drops. And then we can take the pink So again, I'm just going to squeeze some on. I'm going to take another paintbrush. These are the Nouveau ones. You get a huge selection in your Nouveau paintbrushes. You get wide, you get fine. I'll make sure everything is linked in the video description, including, of course, all those coupon codes. And so I'm going to paint these on. Just spread it out around that area. like this. You could paint all your flowers but I like just doing the centers. I think it sets it off really nicely. You can um, add a little bit to your butterflies. So I'm just going to pull my sleeve up a little bit. And I'm going to do a thin coat on the butterfly. So again I can just Pull the colour out very lightly. And you can add water if you want to, but I just kind of like the lighter effect. And they have a slight shimmer and sheen to them once you start painting with them, which is something else I really like about the stone drop. So again, I'm just filling in. And then you can take your nozzle and there's lots of details on this butterfly so I can just pick out some of those by adding some drops and again there's another butterfly on this side here and you may have been able to tell I love this aquamarine so I'm gonna just put some dots of the aquamarine in take my same paintbrush again pull out that color So you can go light, you can go dark. Obviously the more you put on, the darker it's going to become. You can see there I have this one and then I can reverse those colors. Um, I'm just gonna add those dots in. So you can see I've added those details into my butterfly. If you wanted to have different details in the center, so say you wanted the body to be a slightly different color, you can add that blue and we could have a blue body in the center just like this. You can see there I have a slightly different detail by doing that. So you really can adapt the details. On the other one you saw earlier I painted around the center here with the belly band being slightly a different color. I want to make sure that I've done that. So you can really kind of go to town, add as many details as you want on there, but then you can just add, this is the perfect size for one of those um, electronic tea lights. Um, you can add some really fun details. 
but I hope you've had fun kind of exploring stone drops with me here today. I have had great fun playing with them. There are so many different ideas. Do check out our Nouveau Drops playlist. I'll add a link in the top right hand corner for you so you can check that out too. Um, lots and lots of fun things. And as I say, don't forget to check out our channel memberships coming very soon. Hit that subscribe button here at Hedgehog Hollow and ring the bell for notifications of all of our daily videos for tips, tricks, tutorials, hauls, all of those fun things. And if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up. Check out the links in the video description, including all of our exclusive coupons. We have so much going on here at Hedgehog Hollow at the moment. Thank you so much for joining me today with the Academy. I'll see you again very soon. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.